This is me. This is me trying to raid with my friends and completely forgetting about crab spawns and maiden. So here I am deciding that I want to make a plugin for maiden crab spawns to alert me when crabs are going to spawn so I can switch earlier. Now, I'm going to make this plugin using ChatGPT. I have never made a RuneLight plugin. I have no clue how it works. I know basic coding. I have my bachelor's in computer science, but it's useless. So now, here I am, going to attempt to do it from scratch with literally no prior knowledge of RuneLight. Let's see if we can do it. Now, fair warning, this did take me a lot of time. You can, I recorded with full screen with a purpose so you can see the clock on the bottom right. It basically took me, I don't know, like five to six hours to get a working plugin. But there's a few catches. If I had to do it again, it would be a lot quicker. Basically, as you can see on screen right now, I'm not going to go through the uh, starting part. Basically, I just asked it how I, I would go ab about making a plugin from scratch. And it just told me like that I need my ID. I already had that downloaded um, and all that good stuff. So, but if I had to do it again, I would just basically start at RuneLight Wiki. Uh, yeah, it's, it's here on screen. Basically, uh, they have a really nice example plugin. I'd, and I would just use that for a start and then basically just copy and post paste the code in. Here, uh, you can basically see the whole process. They have a nice uh, page, how to set up for new plugins. And I would just basically start with this. So ChatGPT, it did say that I should look at doc documentation and that's the only reason I actually did all this. Uh, so yeah, I uh, basically clicked that link. It put me into my GitHub to make a new repository uh, and basically just set up the whole environment. So let me, uh, I follow this step by step. It's really, really easy. Uh, and uh, yeah, the only issue I had that also took me a while. Uh, I had the latest JDK installed, I think it was like 19. And the only issue is Gradle is not compatible with Java 19. So I had to basically, I downloaded like Java 14 then. Because uh, it took me a while on Stack Overflow to see uh, why I couldn't uh, build the project. So yeah, if you're having issues... You need Java, I think I read from 8 to 15 on Stack Overflow. I'm not sure how re reliable that information is, but I used 14 and all my issues went away. So, yeah, that's about it. Yeah, so there we go. Uh, I got my client working. I Yeah, it took me a while. You can see on the bottom right, right how much time passed. Uh, if I had that prior knowledge, I would solve that issue in like two minutes took me a lot more so yeah we have working client which is great uh we can see in the plugin that my plugin is in uh but it's still like a, the example plugin so all the settings all of that is still very default uh yeah that's not my plugin that's the the, the other one is so now basically um uh, uh, it's time for chat gpt to enter the main stage now, let me explain what my initial idea was. My initial idea was that when Maiden hits 75% hit points, as in 5% before the crabs spawn, I wanted the tiles on the floor to change. So, uh, to change color. So, I did write exactly that, and if I had any prior knowledge of how ChatGPT worked, I would have done it a bit differently, because now, I'm fast forwarding through this, because I know that this is not the final solution. This one had a bit of uh, errors, as you can see, I'm asking it in the background if uh, we can edit this code to add to check it every game tick, because currently in the previous code it only checked once, uh, and that's not really how I wanted to do it. Uh, so, what, I'm just going to skip through all these failed attempts. Now, if I had any prior knowledge of how RuneLight API worked, or basically anything, uh, I would have done it differently. Uh, this first idea is not great. 
So the idea that actually worked and is actually really simple to do is for me to basically just use an overlay. So uh, basically your screen is just going to flash, not the floor tiles, but like the whole rune light screen is going to flash. And uh, color, duration, everything can be customizable and we're just going to use an overlay. So here I will basically cut this whole portion to the point where we're going to start using an overlay. Uh, it is a lot easier to do it with an overlay. Overlay basically means that it's going to draw on top of the client. Uh, I don't know if you use your Blast Mind plugin at all or anything similar, any no notification plugin probably as well. Uh, basically just to write like a nice little X color tri not triangles, rectangle on top of your screen uh, for a amount of time and that's going to be it. It's pretty straightforward, but yeah, let's see if uh, we can get it working. So let me explain how this whole process actually worked. Uh, ChatGPT is taught on the knowledge until I think September 2021. The issue here is also that the RuneLight API uh, got updated in between. I think just because uh, some calls were outdated and no longer there and I had to manually fix uh, some stuff. I did feed it a lot of, yeah, this method is no longer here and yeah, it basically just returned me. Yeah, it's outdated. I know, I know. Uh, try using this and this. Um, really, um, also one of the bigger issues is actually finding the maiden ID which I, I found out is actually a problem. Uh, it's, I had to manually change two things. One was the health ratio percentage. Uh, basically, RuneLight has a get health ratio, which returns uh, their current percentage of the health, but it's not like 0 to 100. It depends on the size of the health bar. So you, you can get get health scale and basically tells you what 100% is and then get a health ratio tells you what uh, was the current value based on the total ratio. Uh, and in my code, it kept trying to basically uh, put 75 as in 75%. So I had to manually calculate 75% and input that instead of 75. And also another thing is the maiden ID, which was wrong. It just basically, as far as I can see, selected a random uh, maiden ID number and not the like actual uh, uh, maiden ID. So what I did to fix was basically just scrap the whole maiden ID thing and just basically said, okay, uh, in the room, there's only one NPC. So we're just gonna use, okay, that one NPC is maiden and just get health ratio from that instead of the basically the straightforward has to be maiden ID. Cause there's a lot of, I realized maiden has a, a bunch of IDs. Every phase as in, before first crabs, before second crabs, and after second crabs. Uh, it's three different IDs for three different maidens, and there's also an entry, normal, and hard mode. So we have like, what, nine different maiden IDs? Uh, so you can't confuse uh, the uh, chat GPT with that. So yeah, I just scrapped that whole thing and I had to manually fix that. Uh, there's probably a better way, but I did do that. Uh, so yeah, let's, uh, jump to the hand actually. Uh, uh, this is not so much fun because I was, uh, for reference, I was looking alongside the Blast Mine plugin because it's also not notifying you for the explosions, I think. And I use that as my reference point of, uh, what should be where, uh, while also copy and pasting the code from the chat GPT. It's not perfect, but... Uh, that's how I did it. So let's see. So yeah, here we have our first working prototype. Uh, it's actually really, really funny. Uh, flashing, it didn't understand it's flashing, but it basically just filled my whole screen with a white rectangle. Uh, basically flash banged my ass and <laughs> that's about it what happened. Uh, so yeah, 
it basically did that almost all by itself. I am going to show the whole um, chat GPT chat logs uh, in the end. Uh, I did do some manual fixing, uh, basically changed the color and then added an option to basically fix the duration and color so that you, you can customize what color you want your uh, flash to be and uh, how long do you want your flash to be so it's because currently it's indefinite it always it's just it does it forever uh i did do that manually so it is not perfect uh so yeah let's see the uh <laughs> the end product so there's an epilepsy warning here so please uh, <laughs> uh skip ahead it is quite brutal all right i hope you're ready so yeah this is also one of the main things uh, basically, the program currently calls the function for flashing every time it draws on screen. And it thinks it draws at once every th every game tick, which is uh, every 600 milliseconds. But it's not actually the case. It draws a lot more than once per tick. Because if it drew once per tick, the game would run at like, I don't know, 10 FPS or something. Uh, actually, no. I'm stupid. One FPS, right? Yeah, it would be. <laughs> I'm stupid. Uh, uh, so it draws a lot more. So it calls the function a lot more. And because I said it, the flash would last three ticks, as in three game cycles, it then did this. So the number was three, but because three was used up a lot quicker, so in milliseconds, that is, it looked like horrible. Like it just looked horrible so yeah here i fixed that and uh just instead of three i put in like a bigger number and uh yeah i did that manually and then we're basically here at the end uh at the end i did manually change so you can edit color and and the duration just because i wanted to see if i could do it it's quite simple uh you just go to the config file and add up what do you want to do and here is the end product let's see all right, so let's go through the final code. Um, this is the config file. Basically, uh, you will see what I mean. I'm just going to run it and just explain as I go. Uh, these are the two settings you can edit. If you click on the cog wheel in the plugin hub, uh, what you, you can edit. You can edit the duration and the color. Um, default is one second. And the default color is, I think, like a slightly white-ish one. Uh, I, this is also my own add. Like, everything here in the config file is my own. Uh, just, I wanted to see if I could do it, because I did feel quite bad. Uh, yes, there we go. It started up. If I log myself in. Uh, if we go in. There we go. Uh, we go crab alert. There we go. If, if we click the the cogwheel it has what color you want my flash to, to to be you can edit all of this with opacity uh and also the duration uh it's all in in here you can edit this uh with these two settings the the the, the, the defaults are a bit different and then the main the main juice is right here this is mostly chat gpts as i've said uh, I, this is no, this is no longer used because I am using uh, the flash du duration is no no longer used because it's picking up from the config file and it made an NPC. I'm not using it because it's not correct. Uh, so let's go through here. This is just an injection, and here is the main the main juice. So it gets any NPC. Now this is not great because it's not working strictly for Maiden. It should be at least like it should also check for a re region, I guess. I should go to do and like check which region like grid ID Maiden is in so it only works for Maiden. I assume it would work for <laughs> a lot of creatures right now. Uh, it gets her health uh, with a ratio and puts that to a string. Now here the flash counter is basically just subtracts so like the mid the mid the milliseconds go by real real fast. Um, here it checks if it's below the threshold. The threshold is 120. I think her max health is 160. Uh, and it, it has, it, it shouldn't be minus one. Minus one means that I haven't hit it, hit it yet. Adam from Runelight was actually really helpful. I, I searched and another person had uh, the similar issue. Uh, if, 
if the health bar isn't drawn on screen yet, then it's not gonna pick it up and it's gonna be minus one. So you have to hit it for it to register her actual health. And flashed once is my own add-on. Basically just means I want just to have one flash for 75% and then it turns false and it's done. Uh, once it triggers, the, the duration is called from the config file, what, whatever you set up. Uh, and uh, once... Uh, yeah, if as soon as it, it hits, it basically just draws a color, I mean a rectangle, uh, with the color that you specified, and it fills basically the whole screen. And then it just drops down, and that's that's it. That's the whole thing. The, this plugin file is all chat GPT. I didn't change a word, uh, and this is the basically just example plugin. Like I didn't change anything. Uh, so now. It would be cool if we put that thing to a test. Um, we're just gonna actually we're gonna bank all of this and just go real quick. Uh, do this, do this, and I think I also put in some teleport crystals. <laughs> okay, don't 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 look at my bank. It doesn't it doesn't matter. It's 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 a mess. It's doesn't matter. Yeah, we're we're wasting like eighty k for a purpose of. Uh, science here i'm going to pre-pot uh we have our two settings we're gonna make a party it's gonna be an entry mode so i can get it to 75 percent really quickly but yeah as i've said the code is not perfect um it does need some uh i mean it could be fixed in a lot of ways um yeah currently it doesn't work for maiden i mean for only for maiden so it's not region locked uh, and also it only works for 75, not for like, let's say 55 and 35, uh, as you're about to see. And this is just a NPC. This is another plugin that I have disabled. Let's see if it works. Yeah. Turns it green for hopefully that's felt a bit long, but it's almost two seconds. All right. It doesn't matter. Yeah. There we go. That's the whole plugin. Uh, I would say chat GPT made about. 80% of it, 85. Um, if I had to do it again, it would be a lot quicker. So, because now, while also fiddling around with the settings, as you can see in my um, time, but now this is a completely different day because uh, I had to go to, to work in, in between. Um, it would last me like a, a lot less time because I know about how uh, Runelight works now. I did fiddle around with the, the Runelite API a lot to get like a basic understanding of some functions to get like the health ratio, uh, to see how it works, what it returns. I searched in Runelite Discord a lot for like already existing plugins, um, uh, basically in information if I need it. And yeah, uh, hopefully you enjoyed. And if you did, consider subscribing. I will see you all later.